guys. So my band is playing a show in Bristol tomorrow, and then the following day I am playing a house show in Wales. So instead of driving from Brighton to Bristol, back down to Brighton, and then all the way back up again to Wales, it made much more sense to stay in this general area of the world. But luckily, I happen to have two friends that are both in that general area of the world, and lovely enough to let my girlfriend and I come to their house at about one in the morning and sleep on their couch. So that being the lovely gesture that it is, I wanted to do something nice to repay them. So I tried to make them some brownies, but they kind of ended up looking more like feces than food. It has the texture of gravel. And it got me thinking about how in a lot of good stories, we have what we're trying to do preceded by how we failed at doing something, which in turn got me thinking about how in getting older, we try and try more things, we get more experience, and we learn how to do those things better. But what I started to question was in growing older, learning from our mistakes, do we have fewer stories like this? So I went back and I started to remember the stories that my parents told me and my grandparents told me and those older than me told me about when they were younger. And typically, or from at least what I can remember, the craziest stories I've heard came from when they were in either school or university. So you've got from maybe the age of about 12, 13 to about 21 or 22. And I'm 22. And that started to scare me that maybe I've peaked and I've stopped experiencing things the way a kid does. Some of the best times I've ever had in my life were when I put my sensibility to the side for a sec and I just went out with my friends, stupid and naive, and we lived in that moment. Like when Scott, Maddie, and I tried to barrel roll Maddie's dad's Honda in a snowy car park in Montreal. Like when Jason and I flew to the Canary Islands to climb a fucking volcano and to break into as many pools, abandoned houses, and zoos as we could find. Like when my cousin and I went out with matches and our grandparents' gasoline and set fire to an entire fucking road in suburban Minneapolis at four in the morning. Like when my band and I broke into an abandoned bingo hall for a photo shoot and nearly got the shit kicked out of all of us for taking photos of a naked couple through their Velux window. Like when I pulled over to the side of the road just to have sex in the backseat of my car on a very busy road. <laughs> like when I did just about anything for the first time. I guarantee you that's when I felt most alive in my life, and I fear that that's a chapter that's closing with every year I get older, and that's why I urge you to treasure your naivety and your stupidity, and to truly live before you die.